Hello friends, this video on playing with numbers part 22 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let us now look at the divisibility by 11. How do we know that a number is divisible by 11? So a number is divisible by 11 if the difference between the sum of the digits at odd places and sum of the digits at even places is either 0 or divisible by 11. So this is again a little complicated rule like how you know, we did it in case of the divisibility by 7. But anyways, we will understand this as well. Now. Let us take example of some number. Let's say 3, 9, 1, 6, 2, 4, 5. Let's say we have to tell whether this number is divisible by 11 or not. So what do we need to do? We need to sum the digits at the odd places and again we need to sum the digits at the even places and then we need to find the difference between the two. Now the question is what is the meaning of odd places and even places? Now, this counting of odd and even places will always start from right. Now, this is an important thing to remember. So, you will start positioning the digits from your right hand side. That is from the units place, right? So, this is units place, this is tens place, this is hundreds place, thousands place and so on. So, you will always start numbering the position of the digits from the units place. So, let us say this is position 1, position 2, position 3, position 4, 5, 6, 7. So, this is a 7 digit number and you have 7 positions of the digits. Now, can you tell me what are the digits which are located at the odd places? Odd places means located at position 1, located at position 3, position 5, position 7 because 1, 3, 5, 7 these are odd numbers. So these basically mean so these positions 1, 3, 5 and 7 these positions are the odd positions. So we call them odd positions. Now what about these positions 2, 4 and 6 these are the even positions. So, what we need to do? We need to find out the sum of the digits at odd places. So, which are the odd places? 1, 3, 5 and 7. So, these are the digits at the odd places. So, sum of the digits at the odd places will be equal to 3 plus 1 plus 2 plus 5. Okay. Similarly, sum of the digits at the even places would be 9, 6 and 4. So, 9 plus 6 plus 4. Now, please make sure that you start counting the position of the digits from right hand side. So, that is very important. Now, the sum of the digits at the odd places comes out to be 11 and the sum of the digits at even places comes out to be 19. So, now we need to calculate the difference between the two that is sum even minus sum odd. So, this comes out to be 19 minus 11 which is 8. Now, this 8 if this it, if this is either 0 or divisible by 11 only then the number is divisible by 11. So, do you think that 8 is divisible by 11? No. So, therefore, this number is not divisible by 11. So, this is the divisibility rule of 11. I know that this is a little complicated, but it is not difficult. Now, we will take another example. The more examples we take, the better the understanding becomes. So, let us take the next example. So, now we consider a number 1611312. So, you have to determine if this number is divisible by 11 or not. So, let us first try to find out the digits at the odd and the even places. So, let us number the places 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, which are the digits present in the odd places? These are the odd places, right? So, the digits in the odd places are 1, 1, 3 and 2. So, sum of the digits in odd places would be 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus Sorry, 1 plus 1 plus 3 plus 2. So, this comes out to be 7. 
Now sum of the digits at the even places would be 6, 1, 1, that is 6 plus 1 plus 1, which is equal to 8. Now when you look at their difference, the difference is SE minus SO, which is equal to 8 minus 7, that is equal to 1. This one is again not divisible by 11, therefore the number is not divisible by 11. So in this fashion, you can determine if a particular number is divisible by 11 or not. Now again, the same magic. How it works? How, how did we arrive at such a complicated trick to find out divisibility by 11? So for this, let us consider a number. Let us consider a number 613. 261. It is a six digit number and let's say we have to determine if it is divisible by 11 or not. So what we do, the first step as usual is to expand the number. So this is units place, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands and lakhs. So this would be six into one zero 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 plus one into ten thousand plus three into thousand plus 2 into 100 plus 6 into 10 plus 1 into 1. So this is how we can expand this number. So now in order to find its divisibility by 11, what is that trick which we can play with these numbers 1000, 10,000, lakhs and so on. So what we do is we do a very interesting thing here. So what we will do is we will try to you know, find out numbers which are divisible by 11 and make use of those numbers. Now, you remember in divisibility by 3, what we did? We wrote 100 as 99 plus 1 because 99 was divisible by 3, right? So, here also we will do something of that sort. So, we will make use of numbers which are divisible by 11. So, now this 1 lakh can be written as 1 lakh 1 minus 1. So we can very well write it like this. Now what about 10,000? So 10,000 can be written as if you want you can write it as 10,001 minus 1. But 10,001 is not divisible by 11. So by actual division you can check that. So since 10,001 is not divisible by 11. So we prefer it to be written as 9999 plus 1. Because 9999 is divisible by 11. And here 1 lakh 1 is divisible by 11. So that is why we have chosen these numbers. So now you see how beautifully we will arrange these numbers. So 1000 again, if you write 1000 as 999 plus 1, 999 is not divisible by 11. But if you write it as 1001 minus 1, so 1001 is again divisible by 11. So this is a better way to write it. Again, when it comes to 100, you write it as 99 plus 1 because 99 is divisible by 11. When it comes to 10, you do not write it as 9 plus 1. Instead, you write it as 11 minus 1 because 11 is divisible by 11. And this is how we have very smartly written the expansion in a way where a lot of terms now are divisible by 11. And that is what we wanted. So now let us break these remove these brackets and break the terms by distributive property. So a into b minus c can be written as a into b minus a into c. So let us do that. So this is 6 into 1 lakh 1 minus 6. 6 into 1 would be 6 plus 1 into 9999 plus 1 into 1 which is 1 plus 3 into 1001 minus 3 plus 2 into 99 plus 2 plus 6 into 11 minus 6 plus 1. So this is what we get. Now from these, these terms are divisible by 11. That is why we had chosen them in fact. So these terms are all divisible by 11. So we are not worried about these terms. So what are we worried about? So we are worried about the remaining terms. So let us look at the remaining terms. So the remaining terms are minus 6 plus 1 minus 3 plus 2 minus 6 plus 1. Now let us write all the positives together and all the negatives together. So this can be written as 1 plus 
2 plus 1 minus 6 minus 3 minus 6 and this can be written as 1 plus 2 plus 1 within brackets minus 6 plus 3 plus 6 and what is this 1 plus 2 plus 1 1 plus 2 plus 1 so these are basically the digit sum of the digits in the odd places minus 6 plus 3 plus 6 this is sum of the digits in the even places so you see some of the digits in the odd places minus some of the digits in the even places. So that is the part which is doubtful if this is divisible by 11 or not. Because the rest of the part we saw that they are anyways divisible by 11. So this is the reason that whenever you are asked to find out if a number is divisible by 11 or not, we find some of the digits at the odd places, we find some of the digits at the even places and then subtract them to see if the difference is either 0 or divisible by 11. In that case, the number will be divisible by 11. So with this, I think we have covered the divisibility tests of all numbers starting from 2 till 11. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.